going on everybody welcome back to another episode of guns locked I got the hair pulled back today this is something that a lot of people need if you have straight hair you came straight to this video and i'm glad you guys did a lot of people with straight or curly hair like lil pump scrim fat nick I've done reviews on all these guys, and they have straight hair, they're pretty popular, and people always ask how to get your hair dreaded if you have straight hair. Well, I was on YouTube and I found this video that is perfect for anybody who has straight hair and wants to get dreadlocks, so I'm gonna let you guys see a little bit of it, and it really just breaks every single thing down. It really does just consist of crochet hooking and rip and twist, so it's very simple and it's really quick on how to get dreadlocks with straight hair. So they're gonna explain it in the video, and I know for a fact that this will help you out if you have straight hair and you do want dreadlocks. So enjoy this little video. We go in and find the middle, of this dread. See, this one is where we would put it, but that's not going to be its own dread. That actually will stay down. So, straighten that out. And now I go into the middle of this dread next to it and make my line there. And now I have a nice little section. Straighten the lines. Well, you are going to do this all the way around this section, splitting the middle of the next dread just to create windows so that your dreads all fall down in between each other instead of all on top of each other. You won't see your part lines as much. We've just created our next sections for the next row and now I'm going to show you how to dread this piece of hair with the twist and rip method or what we call dreads in the wild because you don't need anything to do it except your hands. So you've got your square here. Make sure you're not taking any stray hairs and you are just going to pull and twist softly, separate it and rip it. You're gonna wanna pull from the bottom actually to uh, get a little bit more dread action. And you wanna pull up as far as to the base as you can so that your dread builds from the bottom up. Twisting as we come down to the bottom mm. and just crank, rip it up. Not a lot of twists, like one, two motions, pull. One, two motions. <laughs> dread love. Dread love. We've got this dread started. As you can see, it's quite a fuzzy and soft guy. We are going to go and crochet all these loose hairs in to create a solid dread. <laughs> Stick your crochet hook into the main mass. Go and grab some stray hairs and pull it through. Give a little twist. Stick it back in through the mass. Come and grab these solid hairs. Ooh, that's okay. Go back in, grab it, pull it through, right? But you don't have to pull it all the way. You can leave it connected like that and go get more. And this, this part takes a while to get the hang of this like poking and rocking and pulling. So depending on how OCD you are, you can spend forever just building that base and getting all those fuzzies in. Do you see? And pulling them over through it. And then I'm turning it. Going to go back in with them, grab other loopies, pull it. And you need a crochet hook with a little jaw like this because that's what helps you be able to come out of your hair without ripping it. As you will notice, I have ripped no hairs so far. There's been no breakage. So her hair is just as healthy as it was. And you know, for a long time, you can change your mind and comb these out, but once they turn into a big old mat of hair, you got dreads, girl. Do you see this dreadlock? This was just fluffy hair in a minute ago, but now it's a dread. So you can spend as much time as you want on this bugger, making him smooth so that there's none of that going on. Do it, do it up. It'll just get tighter and tighter and thicker and thicker. But these guys, they'll go, they'll kind of flatten out over a few days. Um, so we're actually just gonna finish the rest of her head. All right, so you guys seen it right there. It's super simple and very easy to get dreadlocks with straight hair. It's actually really quick if you do it right. So all they did was rip and twist, and then after they did the rip and twist, they did crochet hooking to maintain everything. It's really easy, isn't it, after you've seen it? But yeah, I'm so glad you guys tuned in this video. If you guys did enjoy it and got a lot of information out of it, hit that thumbs up. All I wanted to do is make sure that everyone with straight hair can see this video if they really want their hairstyle. And I know that just having one video out on YouTube really sometimes isn't enough. YouTube is huge. 
change. But I think this will help you guys, definitely. Thank you guys for turning in this video. All the music on this video or any of the videos that I do have, all the music that's on those videos is gonna be on Great Music. If you guys aren't subscribed to Great Music already, go subscribe, link is always in the description. And also go subscribe to my vlog channel. I post every single day on there. And we just keep growing, guys. Thank you guys so much for showing all the love and support. We're on our road to 50K right now on this channel. So subscribe if you guys have not already. And we'll just keep growing like usual. Hey, but other than that, I'll see you guys next time. Peace.